Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm doing pretty good. Haven't seen you guys in a little minute, <laughs> but I'm excited to see you all. Hey, how y'all? Okay, yeah, in New York, we do say you all too, okay? But um, I, I kind of missed you guys. Not kind of, I missed you guys. Um, I was rather busy. Y'all excuse my rollers, because I know y'all can see this pinkness up through here. But, you know, it's just got to do what it's just got to do. Um, I missed you guys. I really did. Um, my son told me I was doing too many videos in a week. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm going to slow down. But I wanted to come and make a video like uh, two days ago. And um, I was just doing things and I have a lot on my mind. Um, there's something that I kind of put off a project and I want to um, get back to it my wrist is hurting you guys um those of you who were with me know that when i went to the hospital last year uh they burst an artery in my arm and it felt as if my hand was broken i've been having weird things happen ever since they said everything is fine but of course they're going to say that but um yeah so pardon me you guys it's early. It's early in the merchant. It's not even 6.30 yet. And I've already been out. <laughs> okay. I've already been out and I've come back, showered, and uh, I'm ready. I is ready. Because I've got a, a busy day. So, I'm not drinking tea this morning. Having some issues. So... I have to drink this dreadful orange juice. Anybody that knows me know that orange juice is not one of my favorite things to drink, but I drink it because I have to. Y'all, I need to get my eyebrows arched. And my baby girl has been busy. That girl stay busy. So anyway, once she gets a chance, she'll do her mama's eyebrows. Um came to you guys because I missed y'all. <laughs> no other reason except I missed y'all. Uh, I, I do have a couple of reasons, um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes as we talk. I'm waiting for my orange juice to get a little warm. Thank you guys for waiting for me, too. Um, I bought my daughter's tripod, and um, it's one of those tabletop ones anti-hoos and anti-rays. I didn't know how to work it, so I didn't know she turned it on already. She's a riot. She's a riot. Okay, so so. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I have funny people in my in my lineage, okay? Everybody. Everybody. But anyway, um you guys I saw this sub-Saharan um, dust cloud that's supposed to travel from Africa to the United States. Harp is something else. A dust cloud traveling across the Atlantic Ocean, bringing with it COVID. Let's get real. Let's get real. This is bullshit. Anti who's and anti ways. Um, I, you know, it's amazing the things that people will believe are taking place because the media tells you so. Uh, I've been uh, reviewing some videos and People in other countries are truly laughing at the United States. They're saying the police are dumb. I can't disagree. I 
can't disagree. You see, the president is doing. <laughs> I can't disagree. We are the laughing stock. Well, I'm not going to say we because I'm not included. And those of you who aren't doing dumb shit are not included either. It's just the dummies that are in control. And we are the laughing stock of the world. Well, not we. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to say we. I'm working on changing my language, you guys. The country is the laughing stock of the world. It really is. I mean, it's it really is comical what's happening here. It's ridiculous. It's insane. It seems as if insanity is ruling the day. <sighs> People. People are saying the planet is an awful place to be. And I, I was saying that, um, too, that this is such a horrible planet. The planet is terrible. The earth is blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And that I don't want grandchildren because I don't want, you know, my babies to enter this earth and um, deal with all this racism and stupidity, et cetera, et cetera. It is not the earth. It is the greedy, miserable, ugly, wretched, unhappy people of the earth. They make the planet a terrible place to live. The planet is beautiful. The planet is plentiful. There's space for everybody. There should not be homeless. There should not be starvation. No sort of hunger on this planet whatsoever. This planet is big enough to hold us all. It is just the ignorant, greedy, ugly, Wretched, soulless, heartless. People that think that there's not enough because they want to have everything. How your stinking ass. And I'm saying your stinking ass because your ass stink because your attitude stinks. And your life stinks also. Your stinking ass have a mansion with 16 bedrooms. 16, count them. 17 bathrooms, sometimes 18. Your stinking ass is in there. It's either one or two people. And there are homeless people on this planet. Could you not? Could you not help anybody? Selfish bastards. Selfish bastards. I had a one bedroom apartment. And I had multiple people living there. Cause I believe in helping. I really do. And I got my ass out of my bed and I slept on the floor multiple times. Cause that's the kind of person I am. That's where my heart is at. Not to say that I help anybody, not to brag or to boast, but that's what we should be doing on this planet, helping one another. Anyways, what I wanted to come to you guys with the other day is um, talk, to talk about healing and being free through healing. You know, I um, mentioned to someone something about my pain and then they tried to throw it back in my face I have nothing to hide and I'm not ashamed of my pain okay things have happened in my life and I have had to forgive a lot of things I forgive I don't forget I don't forget at all and even though I, I forgave, um, I was not having healing because I couldn't forget. And there would be times that these things would pop back up in my mind. And 
I'd go through what I call a <clears throat> mental breakdown. Not to the hospital. No, none of that. It's just that I would feel as if I was reliving those things again. And I did not know how to heal. There are a lot of things that plague me now. And I'm working through them. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. Nothing on this earth is perfect. People running around here giving people a chance. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down because ain't nobody perfect. Nobody's a 10. We're all flawed. One way or another, we're all flawed. Y'all excuse my throat area. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. So let me bring it down. Let me woo side. Y'all stop this with this 10 shit and one shit. And labeling people with this rating, you know, most of the people calling people a 10, black like a zero. And I'm not saying your features make you look like a zero. It is your mentality. It is your mentality. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. So anyway, I'm flawed. And I'm happy to be flawed. You know why? I get to see myself in stages and work towards improving myself. I get to see myself in stages and work towards improving myself. I have a missing tooth. And at any time I could have gotten a tooth and put it in there. But this is something mental and personal that I deal with and I haven't done it for a reason. I haven't done it for a reason. So, um, I'm working on healing myself. I've been doing this for the past eight years. Has it been eight? Maybe nine. Almost nine. I've been working on healing myself. And in my healing myself, I was able to forgive. I can't forget. And have the ability to cast down those thoughts when they come to me. Casting down the thoughts requires going through a lot. Psychological changes. And um, because thoughts are strongholds, and even though you say, stop it, you can say, stop it to yourself, call your name, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. So, and freeing myself, and I'm still working on a lot of things, as I said, and freeing myself, I learned how to cast down those thoughts instead of entertaining them when they come to me. And I just want to help you guys to cast down those thoughts. Okay, so you you can really be free. Because true freedom comes with healing. You guys, I'm hot. So, um, what's going on is that I have <clears throat> learned to look inside of the things that has happened and talk to the UNI verse, to God, to the goddesses, to my spirit guides, to my ancestors and ask for help. Okay. My spirit angels. I ask for help. I really do. And, um, I have learned that when those thoughts come, you start asking yourself, why are they here? We have a lot of things in our subconscious, but when they come to the surface, you say, why are they here? Why are you here? Talk to it. I talk to everything. Ask it, why are you here? And why are you trying to plague me? Or is there something that I need to know? Is there a lesson that I need to take away from this? And start dissecting those thoughts. 
And don't spend a lot of time on it. Because the more time you spend on it, the more mental anguish you will go through. So start dissecting it and see why it's there. Did something trigger it? And work on what triggered it also. That is when you begin to get freedom. So people say, I cast those thoughts down. I cast those thoughts down. I don't I rebuke it. It's not going anywhere. It's once you deal with the thought. Go to the process of finding why it's there and what triggered it. That's when you can heal from it and move on from it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Funny. <laughs> so um, that, that's the process that I've learned because I was actually trying to say, oh, I'm casting these thoughts away. Get away from me. Stop it. No. No. You learn to find out the reason why it's there. Then you address that reason. And that's how you heal from past pain. And you stop the thoughts from coming. I was the kind of person that if you did me wrong, you said something to me that was out of the way, or you lied on me, no. Hunty, if you lie on me, we, we over. We can't even talk no more. We ain't even friends, okay? But anyway, I would let things plague me. I'd be in my bed and I couldn't sleep for days. And who was I hurting? Myself. Um, I wanted to get revenge and I was going to get revenge. But who was I hurting? Never allow anybody to tap dance in your loopholes. You don't allow anybody to get so deep into you that you lose chains of thought that you, you lose sense of time because you're entertaining crap and you want revenge. It's not worth it because karma is something else. And it comes back to everybody. So um, I just wanted to um, give you guys um, those healing mechanisms so that you can get true freedom. Um, I learned something a couple of months ago from talking to someone who's elderly and um, you, I'm not going to just say you, we look at people and we see what we want to see and sometimes they take us through changes and we don't know why. Everything is a lesson. Every freaking thing is a lesson. Um, I found out through this person that um, there was a lot of whoring in the family and that um, people were engaging on, um, I'm sorry, in other uh, deviant behaviors in, in their family. And it helped me to understand, to understand and understand and understand the reason why the person of that family did what they did to me. People don't believe that there are spirits on families that don't wanna let go and they pass down from generation to generation from uh, lineage to lineage, and it does. It really does. And sometimes in order for you to heal, you have to understand a person's background. Now, in my family, hunty on both sides, there's some shit. There's some shit. So I had to also, after I talked to this person, y'all, my foot is trying to go to sleep. 
Y'all pardon me while I rub my foot on this carpet. Ooh. That burning sensation always wakes it up. <laughs> this is so weird doing this right here in front of you guys. But hey, I do what I gotta do. I gotta wake this foot up. I have sickle cell disease. And so, um, for those that don't know, and fibromyalgia. And um, so my blood cells are sickled and they don't, uh, you know, operate like everybody else does. Ooh. Huh. Y'all, I'm trying to wake it up, wake it up. <laughs> okay, foot, do your thing. All right. Okay. So, it's still trying to sleep on me, but I'm going to hit it right here. Make sure that, uh, you know, it's okay. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm human. Flaws and all. I'm going to be me. Okay. So, anti-hues and anti-ways. Um, I, um, what was I saying? It doesn't take me long to lose my chain of thought, y'all. Um. Oh, a lot of things in my family on both sides. I fight demons constantly, all the time. All the time. It is up to you to have self-control. You have to have self-control. And be able to look yourself in the mirror. And not just look in the mirror, but actually see yourself. Because there was a time that I, I couldn't see myself. I was looking in the mirror. And I have to go back three or four times because I could not see myself. Because there was shit that I was doing that just wasn't kosher. Just wasn't kosher. So find out um, what is in the bloodline. And learn to forgive yourself. And also be able to forgive others. Because had she not told me um, about these things, I would not have been able to look at the person as a human being. Because I was really looking at this person like a freaking animal. I really was. And I had to look at this person not only from the outside, not only from my pain, but from their inner turmoil. Inner turmoil. They say that hurt people hurt people. I don't believe that. Because I'm hurt and I don't go around hurting people. Not anymore. I don't think I was hurting people on purpose before. But, um... I'm going to have to ponder that. Because I may have. I may have. I'm not perfect. I may have. And, and come to think of it, I have. Not a, you know, sitting here and having a chance to think about it, I have. But, um, I had to be able to find out what was going on so that I could see this person as a human being and not as an animal. Because I was really viewing them as an animal. I'm not going to lie to you. I really was. Excuse me, you guys. Y'all, I can't stand orange juice. Mm. It's trickling down. It's something that I don't like. But at times I have to drink it. Anti-hips and anti-ways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I, I cracked myself up. But, um, you guys, I, um, I just want to help you guys to heal, um, from past pain. Because past pain can constantly be present. 
because things that are in our subconscious are there for a reason and it's up to us to heal them and move forward um there is something that i'm trying to heal from and it makes me feel very very insecure very insecure i have forgiven i can't forget and certain things trigger it and um It has been over 30 years. Some things have been even longer. Some things have been lifelong. And my goal now, I'm writing out a plan, is to see the individuals as human instead of animals for the things that they have done. And, and, and some of those things have been volatile and very vicious so I'm trying to see them as human beings and I'm sorry I have a crack in my knuckles I need to stop that I need to see them as individuals and uh, human beings and go through and dissect I may not find out everything about the history of their family or something like that but I'm trying to work on ways to find out um what triggered them. If I can find out what triggered them, uh, how did I add to it? Um, if I did add to it, if I didn't, or is this person just that way? So I can heal and move forward and hopefully um, they too can heal from whatever happened to them. And um, the one thing I want to touch on here is taking responsibility. A lot of people don't take responsibility. And a lot of people don't know that one incident that you do could cause a person a lifetime of pain. A lifetime. You could be gone. You could be dead. And that person can still be in that pain. I know some women now whose husbands are dead. And these women are still here and their spouses caused them pain back in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s. And even though that person is dead and gone, they are still in that pain. I had some pain from my own husband, whom I love dearly. And I was sitting on the couch and this happened a few weeks ago. And um, this pain, I was talking to him about something. And as I was talking to him, I heard something say, Release that man. Release him. Release him. And I, and I was, you know, he was talking to me. I was talking to him. But this other conversation was going on. And I said, release him. Release him from what? Release him how? Because even though I had forgiven him and I hadn't forgotten, some of those things were making me feel insecure. And in my heart, I was still holding it. I was still holding it. And I will say that that moment, I literally saw a shovel. I saw a shovel and a hole. And I was told to put that pain in the grave because it was past pain and to bury it. And I could see myself picking up the shovel and burying this thing. I had never, I was grieving, but I was carrying the dead weight. And so it was tied to me and it was torture. As I was putting the dirt on this thing, I felt instant release. 
instant release. And I'm like, wow. Wow. Start having a funeral for the things of the past. You're mourning it <clears throat> while it's living dry rot attached to you. It's dead. It is bones. It is, it's not even bones. It's dust, depending on how long it has been. It really is. Have a funeral. You're mourning, but you're still allowing it to live. And it's festering like cancer. And it causes all sorts of turmoil in your life. It brings chaos. Because you can't let it go. Because you haven't buried it. Now, any sane person is not going to have a loved one die and keep that body and constantly every day look at that body as that body is decaying, smelling that body watching that body decay. No sane person is going to keep that body in their home, in their life, 30, 40, 50 years. 10, 5, 3, 2. You're not going to keep that body and then, you know, carry it around. So, don't keep that hurt. Don't keep that pain. Let it go. Bury it. Bury it. Mourn it. And boom. Move on. Move onward and upward. So, you guys, I got to get ready. My hubby's coming home. I got to do the breakfast. And then I got to get out of here. And um, I just wanted you guys to, to heal. That's really what I want. I want, I want everybody to be able to heal from past pain, okay? Heal from past pain and be able to move onward and upward in your life. I want you to be free. I truly do, I want you to be free. So I gave you the keys to healing and I pray that they work for you. I'm gonna stay keeping you guys uplifted because I love you, I really do. And if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Alrighty, everybody. Have a wonderful Thursday. <laughs> I thought it was Wednesday. You guys. <laughs> a little lost. My daughter's birthday is Saturday. And I'm like, I'm psyched. I'm really psyched. Um, anyway, I'll be coming back to you guys. And I love you. Mwah. Take care. Be safe. And stay black magnificent. Peace.